Hey everyone, Mr. Kaczynski here. Got a brand new skill for you from IXL out of section P and eighth grade math. We're going to write rules of translations today. That's good. It's a good skill for them to add in there to their suite of skills. Um, all right, not too much going on either. So this says parallelogram uh, S prime T prime U prime V prime is a translation of par parallelogram S T U V. Write the translation rule. So remember that a um, translation is a slide, and in this case, it's up and to the right. And if you look at all the vertices here, when you look at this up and to the right, all of those lines are the same length, all of those rays are parallel to each other. Uh, that's not really what we're looking for here, though, in terms of translations. What we want to concentrate on is how far right and how far up it moves. So if you look at S and T and U and V, they're all moving that far uh, to the right. Okay, we don't need to concentrate on all of them, but we'll just concentrate on one as a matter of fact. Okay, and how far up is that point moving before it gets to S prime? Okay, so those are the two things we need to know. So here's what our rule is going to look like. We're going to say that XY, that's our original point, transforms to, and if you look at blue, we started at negative 7 and went to 4. That means we went 11 units to the right. So we're going to say take the original X value and add 11 to it. And then how far up did we go? We started at negative 5. We ended up at 0, so we went up 5 units. So that's y plus 5. And that's our rule. And we can go ahead and test it and see if it works, okay? So s was at... Oh, let's try a different point besides s. How about t, which is at negative 5, negative 1. If we do this rule to it, what's it become? Let's see. Well, uh, negative 5 plus 11 is 6, and negative 1 plus 5 is 4. Is t prime at 6, 4? 6, 4. Yep, there it is. All right, so that's going to work for all the points. Let's do a couple more. There is a couple tricky things about this, but all right. So again, let's look at how far to the right, and this time it goes down. So we're transforming this blue one to create this yellow one. So let's look at W. It goes right. Looks like 11 units. And then it goes down. from 5 to negative 5, 10 units. Okay, so we can write our rule now because we've got everything we need. Um, again, 1, 2, and then 9, so that's 11 units. 5 down, another 5 down, that's 10 units. But since it went down, that's negative. So here's what our rule is going to look like. x, y transforms into x plus 11. and y minus 10. Okay, this time, make sure you identify the original image. It's um, FGHI. It's this one over here without the little apostrophes. Okay, those apostrophes are read as prime. But this one actually goes left and then up. That's what the translation is. So um, let's look at that translation. Let's follow H. H goes that far to the left, and then it goes this far up. Okay, so how far is that? Uh, to the left, starts at 4, ends up at negative 7. That's 11 units to the left. We do left as a negative. And then how far does it go up? It starts at negative 2 and ends up at 6. That's an increase of 8. 
So now we've got enough where we can write our rule. Our rule is that the original point x, y transforms into x minus 11 and y plus 8. Pretty simple. The mathematics behind translations is addition and subtraction. All right, and one more um, so that we've gone in every direction here. This time we're going to go left and down. All right, so we're going to follow point D. And it just goes, what do we got? Five units to the left. And 11 units down. I believe so. So again, we started at one and ended up at negative four. That's a decrease of five. And then vertically, we started at one and ended up at negative 10. That's a decrease of 11. So our rule, x, y is our original point, And that transforms to x minus five. x controls your horizontal movement. Five left, the negative five indicates that five left and y minus 11. y controls our vertical movement, and the negative indicates a movement or slide or translation down. All right, so I think you'll fly through this as long as you pay attention to which shape's the original one and which one's the new one. Translations, write the rule in IXL's eighth grade math. Good luck, and let me know how it goes in the comments.